What's up, you guys? This is Mikey back again with another review for Kelly T's page. And this week I was given a symptom of man's failure from a new project titled Can Do It of Chaos. And with one word, it should describe how good this is going to be, and that is Vardlocker. Now, if you don't know who Vardlocker is, he is the mastermind behind Witchbones. And if you do not know who Witchbones is, then you need to go and check that out ASAP because, I mean, the man just releases gold. That's all he does. <clears throat> now, um, Can Do It of Chaos is a different um, alley of metal. It's like a... Bestial, black metal, war metal, black death type deal, and with that being said, it is heavy. Do you ever get that um, that feeling, you know, like, you know, you listen to extreme metal, so you know what heavy is, but you want something that just even for your um, level of being a metalhead, like you want something that you're just like, damn, you know, this is actually pretty heavy. This is heavy even for a person like me. Um, then this record is perfect. Um, each track <clears throat> goes anywhere from two and a half minutes or so to about, I think the longest track is three minutes and eight seconds. So what that tells me is that it's, um, it's right down to the point. There's no building up or anything. It's just right shoving it down your throat, heaviness, and it does the job correctly and um, right. Now, with tracks, uh, with track titles like Skull Crusher 666 and Antichrist Pile Driver, you know how heavy and, you know, just relentless this uh, album is going to be. Now, anybody who doesn't really know um, about war metal or anything like that, it is just balls heavy, uh, blast beats everywhere. Like, it sounds like a war zone. I'm almost positive that's where it gets its name from. And uh, this release is great. You can check it out on Bandcamp. But also, um, on their Bandcamp, it says either on or before June 26th, they are going to release cassette tapes of this, an edition of 50. On uh, Witchbone's Bandcamp page and also Jim's label. So keep that in mind, you know, because I know for a fact these tapes will go quick. I know that I'm going to be keeping my out, uh, eye out for one of those. It's really good. Like, it's... It's time for us to hear something that makes us feel like our young days of, you know, going into extreme metal to where, like I said, like, you know, you're listening and you're just like, damn, this is actually really heavy. And this is like, it gives you that feeling of you're reaching new territories and that album just perfects it. It's great. And uh, like I said, if you do not know his other projects like uh, Witchbones, then you need to check that out. Um, I give this album obviously uh, two thumbs up. I hope that this is not just a, you know, one little album. I had my feel for it. And now let's go move on to something else because I mean, the man's got skill. The man's got skill to basically anything he puts his mind to. And this war metal album, you know, is just right there with it. Um, I bought it on Bandcamp. You should too. Or if you want to wait until um, the cassette tapes are released, that's fine too. But check it out um, because I know y'all enjoy it. And I know this will be an album to where you guys are kind of taken back like all right this is bringing back the old feels of finding heavy music again and it's great i love it good job man